Hello everybody, it's Mr. Guerra, and today we are going to be reading Armadilly Chili. This book was written by Helen Ketterman and illustrated by Will Terry, who has 20 years of experience as a professional artist and has illustrated 30 books. And he's also an art teacher like me. Mr. Terry teaches at Utah Valley University and is a speaker on the topic of becoming an illustrator. He's also got his own blog and podcast and YouTube channel and even co-owns a business teaching people how to become an illustrator. Oh, and he also likes to snowboard with his dog Pooch in the wintertime. So all around, he's not only passionate about illustration, but he is a mega talented artist, as we will all soon see. So let's go ahead and begin. Armadilly Chili by Helen Ketterman. Illustrated by Will Terry. Miss Billy Armadilly skit scat skittered down the lane. A blue northerner's a blowin' in my old cold bones, a rattlin' for a pot of hot armadilly chili, she said. She was gathering beetles when her tarantula friend Tex came by. Hey, Tex! I'm making a pot of armadillo chili, said Miss Billy. How's about tapping your toes this way and helping me gather a box full of beetles? Tex wiggled his long, jiggly legs. Shucks, Miss Billy. I'm going dancing today. Hmm, then I'll fill my box with beetles myself, harumphed Miss Billy. When she finished, Miss Billy headed for her garden. She was picking jalapeno peppers and chipotle chilies when Mackie the bluebird swooped down from his bush. A cold northerner's a blowin', Mackie. How about whistling us a tune and helping me pick a pack of peppers for my armadillo chili? asked Miss Billy. Not today, Miss Billy, said Mackie. I'm shaking my tail feathers to the movie. Miss Billy snorted. Then I'll pick a peck of peppers myself. After she finished, Miss Billy scurried to the prickly pear cactus patch and started chippity-chop-chopping. Her friend Taffy, a horned toad, looked down from her rock. How's a gal supposed to concentrate with such a racket going on? Taffy, I'm chopping cactus for my armadillo chili, said Miss Billy. How's about helping me chop a chunk or two? Can't you see I'm lacing my skates? I'm skating the day away, said Taffy. Miss Billy's face turned red. Then I'll do the chopping myself. When her basket was full, Miss Billy hurried home. She began to fix her armadillo chili. She mixed and stirred and cooked and stirred some more. Soon, the armadillo chili bubbled on the stove. Miss Billy was carrying out the trash when Tex tottered up. Mm. Howdy, Miss Billy, said Tex. It's a mighty cold night and I could smell that armadillo chili a cooking all the way home from the dance hall. Miss Billy plunked the lid on the trash can. I have a saying, Tex. No working with Billy, no sharing the chili. I'm afraid you danced yourself out of dinner, cowboy. Whoa, I'm sorry you feel that way, Miss Billy. Tex whirled around and hurried home. Miss Billy stood there feeling sour as a scorpion. Suddenly, Mackie blew in on a cold breeze. It's a rough wind a blowin', Miss Billy. But I could face it if I could warm myself with a bowl of that fine-smelling armadillo chili. Sorry, Mackie, snapped Miss Billy. No working with Billy. No sharing the chili. Maybe remembering that movie will keep you warm. Mackie's tail feathers drooped, and he flew away. Miss Billy went inside to stir and taste her chili. It needed a little something. She dropped a few more peppers in the pot. Ding dong! Miss Billy answered the door. 
Taffy stood there shivering. I'm freezing, Miss Billy. Could I beg a bowl of your hot armadillo chili? She chattered. Miss Billy shook her head. Land sakes, Taffy! A horn toad with goosebumps is one sorry sight. But no working with Billy, no sharing the chili. Taffy shivered and skated away. Finally, the chili was done. It smelled delicious. Miss Billy took a taste. Her ears dropped. Her armadillo chili just wasn't right. It tasted flat as a Texas prairie. She checked her recipe. She hadn't forgotten anything. What was wrong? She looked around. Her kitchen was warm and bright and cozy. Outside, the wind howled and whistled. Miss Billy peered out the window into the darkness. I know what I forgot, she said. Ding dong, the doorbell rang again. Miss Billy opened the door. Mackie, Tex, and Taffy stood in front of her. She gasped. <gasps> Land sakes, your noses are as blue as I feel. What are you carrying there? Sacks full of apologies, Tex said. Well, come on in, said Miss Billy. I brought a thermos of hot apple cider for sipping with friends, Mackie said. I brought hot jalapeno biscuits for sopping with friends, Tex said. And I brought homemade chocolate fudge to sweeten us up, Taffy added. Miss Billy hugged them all. Friends, that's what my armadillo chili was missing. The four friends set the table together, then talked and laughed long into the cold, blustery night. And the armadillo chili was perfect. I loved that book. I not only liked the fact that all of the characters had something to learn about sharing and friendship, but also those illustrations. I mean, wow, the colors were so rich and beautiful and all the characters were so well-designed and fun to look at. Amazing, I love this book. I hope that you enjoyed this story as much as I did, but nothing quite compares to actually physically having the book and reading it with somebody that you care about. So I'm gonna put an Amazon link in the description below in case you wanted to get one for yourself. And if you'd like to learn how to draw your own armadillo, check out the video tutorial taught by me. I'll put a link to that in the description below also. Well, that's all I've got for now. I will see you next time. Bye.